Hi everyone, welcome to my Jean de Moss inspired makeup look. So this is basically the finished product right here. It's just very healthy looking tanned glowing skin and a very lived in red lip. And if you don't know who Jean de Moss is, she's basically the French it girl or like um, France's answer to Alexa Chung basically. So she's like a style blogger um, type model it girl. I kind of did a little bit of research on her and I found that she kind of has a very distinct look like her uh, makeup always kind of looks very much the same so um so it's basically just very healthy tan glowing skin a lot of highlight but i mean i don't think she wears highlight i think she just has higher features so like setback features like contour and whatnot and then also brought out features like her um, cheekbones and the top of her nose and whatnot so um that's basically it it's basically a lot of contour a lot of highlight and a very lived in red lip so if you guys are interested in this look, stay tuned and I'll show you guys how I recreated it. All right, so the first thing is that she has kind of wavy hair, so I'm going to tie my hair up into a low bun. All right, next I am going to moisturize and I've been using this lip balm right here. It's called the Ultra Repair Lip Balm from, no, Ultra Repair Lip Therapy from First Aid Beauty. And it works so well, it's um, petroleum free. So it's not like a petroleum base, it really sinks in and hydrates your lips and it's kind of minty too so I really like it. All right next since I'm not really doing anything today I'm just gonna go to uh, my friend's like holiday party later on tonight. I don't plan on redoing my makeup even though it's like early in the morning right now. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and opt out of the SPF but usually I wear this one right here which is the Neutrogena oil free with sunscreen broad spectrum 15. Um, I usually wear this every single day and I go all the way down to my neck too, but today, since I'm going to be taking photos later, most likely, um, I'm just going to opt out of it and I'm going to do this, which is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, which I'm almost out of, and the, um, I can't even see this, Soothing Face Mist. It's all um, rubbed off because I've been using this so much, but basically I just put it everywhere and it feels so good and it smells amazing. So I'm going to take the moisturizer and just rub it everywhere. I kind of give it a moment to sink in as well. And I usually bring it down to my neck too. I love this moisturizer so much. It just sinks in and just takes care of my skin without like leaving a greasy residue or feeling like I have too much moisturizer on or anything like that. So, so I'm going to give that a moment to sink in. And since I'm going out later tonight and my skin's not really looking that good, I usually do one of two options. I usually use the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint or, in the shade I have is medium, or um, on a bad day, I'll use the Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation, and the color I have is light beige. I'll only do one or the other, and if I use this, then I'll use a concealer along with it. And the one I have here is this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, so this is like my dynamic duo, like the best together. But since I want kind of heavier coverage today, I'm going to use this along with the Hangover RX by Too Faced. And this stuff smells so good. It smells like coconut. And this is supposed to be like a really good vitamin packed, let's see, replenishing face primer Hangover RX with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers. So it's actually really supposed to be good for your skin. Um, it's not like a normal silicone, what do you call it, primer. So it doesn't leave like this weird like silky filling over your skin like for some reason with the silicone like face primers um it just feels like it's filling in your pores and then i don't know it feels really nice but i just feel like it can't be good for your skin so after i let my moisturizer kind of sink in i kind of spread this all over my face but usually just down my t-zone in the center area where i put most of my moisturizer and then i let that sink in yeah so normally monday through friday i'll just use this combination because it's just a lighter coverage and then a little bit of concealer where I need it like around my nose area maybe um, like around my chin and all that stuff I don't usually use that as my under eye concealer just because I don't really care about under eye circles um, I think they're cool so I'm just gonna give this Too Faced Hangover RX a moment to kind of just sink in um, enjoying my coffee right now you guys like this mug? It's like a central perk mug. I love it. I found it at a thrift store and I'm like, what the fuck? Where did those mugs go? Because I used to love those mugs and I used to always um, collect them and they just totally disappeared. So, all right, so this foundation right here, I love it. It has a little pump so you don't have to dip your brush back in. And I usually only use 
this much. You can't really see it. It's like half a pump, not even half a pump. Um, and then what I do is I use the Perfecting Skin Tint to kind of just kind of reduce up my skin a little bit. And then I also spray a little bit on my brush as well. And then kind of saturate your brush with the foundation. And then start from the center and just kind of spread it out. And the face mist really helps to spread the product out. Oh, and the brush that I'm using is the Sigma Flat Top F80, which is like the most reliable foundation brush I feel like. I've been using it forever. All right, so I'm gonna give that a moment to set in and I am going to prepare my bronzer. So I've been using the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Bronzer. Um, it's like my favorite thing ever because it smells so good. It looks very natural. There's no like shimmer to it or anything like that. So it's great for contouring or just like bringing back parts of your face. So like, I feel like I have a pretty white face and Jean DeMoss has like a very skinny face. So um, she has like really high cheekbones, very chiseled everything. So I'm just gonna kind of set everything back a little bit. So maybe around my face here, um, especially right here. Yeah, this is what I'm using. It's the Chocolate Soleil. It's the original one. Um, it's the medium deep matte bronzer. So the three brushes that I've been using for contouring, I know it seems like a lot. Um, most days I only use this one, which is the Sephora brand Pro Angled Contour Brush. It's the number 75, and it's just a very dense angled brush. And this is great for like contouring around the nose, maybe around here. I just kind of have a little bit problem blending right here and around the face. So I like to use this, which is the e.l.f. It's the contour brush basically, and it just has a straight line and such a dense brush. So it's great for like chiseling out your cheeks. Um, it's even good for this, but I use that for contouring around my nose, but it's really good for just laying down product. And then when you blend it in, I use this right here, which is the blending brush from e.l.f. So let me just show you how I do it. So I'm gonna start with this one right here, which is the e.l.f. Um, flat brush. And this is the product right here. And I just kind of go in, load up the brush and yeah, kind of just draw it in. Um, I kind of do it crazy at first, so I don't really um, blend or anything like that. Just lay down the product. And I'm gonna go around the perimeter of my face to like kind of slim it out as well. So right here. I'm also putting a lot more product on than I normally do, just so the camera can pick it up because I don't feel like you guys can see it that well. Okay, and then down my nose, which is really funny because I used to never contour my nose and then um, everyone was like, you should definitely do it because I have a flatter nose, obviously, no nose bridge. Um, so I'm just gonna load it to the tip of this brush right here, the Sephora brush, and then kind of just go down the side of my nose. And that's it. So I'm gonna take the e.l.f. blending brush and load it up a little bit, tap away the excess, and then kind of work it into my hairline. And then blend out everything as well. So, um, yeah. So this harsh line right here, you wanna blend it all out. All down here, you wanna blend it out. Um, down here as well. Down here. And I even blend out on my nose area too, just because I don't really want a distinct line. Okay, so whenever I set back with like a contour, um, whenever you set back, you always have to bring forward. So I'm gonna use some highlighter, and this is the RMS Beauty um, Living Luminizer. And I found out about this product through Rachel. Um, she recommended it a while ago, and she's like, it's like a lit with, from like within, basically. And um, it's just a cream product right here. So you kind of have to work it in a little bit so what I do is I kind of just like rub my finger in it and then kind of blend it on the back of my hand so um, I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand and kind of just go down my nose Cupid's bow uh, brow bone right here and then right here as well and Rachel also doesn't just go on top of her cheekbone she goes all the way in like all the way in here Yep, so to recap, I use the Living Luminizer on my brow bone, right around here on my cheekbone, um, a little bit up here, and then on my cupid's bow, and on my chin, oh, and I forgot, on the inner corners of my eyes. So if you go in, just kind of pat it in. So I'm gonna work on my eyebrows now, and I've been using this product called, 
Okay, so it's from Lip Ink. It's the Miracle Brow Stain in the color Ash, and it's such a wonderful product. It's basically a stain for your brows, and it's in a pomade cream type um, form. So it's very easy to maneuver. The only bummer is that right when I received it, um, I used it for like a week, and then the container broke. I think I sat on it or something like that, or I sat on my makeup bag. Um, so it broke, so I had to transfer everything over to a different pot. So I figured, since I'm never going to use my Anastasia brow um, pomade anymore. I love that brow, like the stuff right here, this brow stuff is amazing, but after using the lip ink stuff, I figured it's so much better that I'm never gonna go back to using this stuff, Let me. why would I? So um, I decided to transfer everything over to the container that it was in, so I know that it's for my brows, you know? Um, but this is actually, so it looks like it's um, Anastasia, but it's actually from lip ink. And the product itself is like a very um, gel-like consistency and it really does stain your skin, so it's amazing. I'm just gonna use a an angled brush from Sephora, and oddly enough, I remember when I did my brow routine like last month, and I was using this Anastasia stuff, I used this brush, and I didn't really like the brush, and then for this lip ink stuff, it actually works really well, so um, I don't need a new brush anymore. Um, yeah, so I kind of work the product into the cap, into the brush, so I take a little bit like that, and I kind of just work it in like that, and um, I'm gonna start on my brows. And this gives you a very like natural brow look, which I really like. And it's a very forgiving product, so it starts out pretty um, gel-like, and then it won't stain your skin for a little while, so it won't set for like maybe um, 30 seconds, or maybe 30 seconds to a minute, so you have a lot of time to like kind of sculpt your brow and like work around and make it look more natural, wipe it off if you need to. Um, so yeah, I just kind of place it in my brow and then like kind of step away. I'm gonna look at my brow, make sure that it's exactly where I want it. And the thing about brows is that it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look like they're from the same face, like they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. I like to start on the top and the tail end because that's the most like defining feature and then you kind of just fill in afterwards. And I also learned from Rachel that when you're doing brows that you need to step away from the mirror so that you can kind of compare. So this actually looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna fill a little bit more in and then leave it to set. After it sets, I usually kind of comb it through with this stuff, which is the Glossier Boy Brow stuff. The stain is just to add color, and then this is actually to groom the hair. So um, you, you kind of need both steps. All right, so Jean Dumas, I don't think she usually wears a blush, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of like a natural flush because I don't really like going out without a blush. So what I'm using is the Too Faced Love Blush and baby love. And I'm using an e.l.f. blush brush. Alright, so at this point you can add mascara if you want to. Um, I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara here, but I'm actually not going to use it today just because I don't really like wearing mascara. I don't think Jean Damas wears that much mascara, or even if she does at all. She just kind of has really clean um, curled lashes, so that's what I'm going to do. Just curl my lashes. And this is the Shuamora Eyelash Curler. It's just a very classic curler. Okay, so since I'm just waiting for the brows to set, I'm just gonna work on the lip product. So um, this is the most exciting part. I have two pencils here, or yeah, they're called matte lip pencils and they're both from NARS. I have the Cruella one right here and the Damned one over here. I like to use a combination of the two because it gives a very um, lived in look. So. I'm going to start with Cruella, and these are great because you can totally just like line your lips with it as well. Okay, and then what you want to do is take your finger and kind of work it in. Like almost kind of stain your skin with this um, pencil. And then reapply it. So that looks pretty good. You can actually stop here, but I'm gonna go in with Damned as well because it's a little bit richer in color and I just like it. So I'm gonna do it kind of in the center. Right here. You can barely tell the difference, but it's just a little bit darker. Um, so this is kind of like a berry um, red color. And then Cruella is a little bit more True red, like that. 
So what we're essentially doing is blending these two together and kind of smudging it together and just making it kind of deeper. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, so now I'm just gonna comb through with this boy brow stuff. And I feel like this is essential. This is like something that you have to do every day just because um, the hairs themselves need grooming, you know? They need to kind of be put in place. So yeah, I think we're done. Um, I'm just gonna take down my hair and hopefully it's a little bit curlier. So this is the finished look. Just take down your hair, kind of let the curls kind of um, lay down flat a little bit, mess them up a little bit too. Um, so this is it. So it's a very lived in lip, um, just healthy looking, tanned, glowing skin. And that's basically it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If you guys have any other requests, please let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.